Alrighty, Tim. Uh, welcome back to Opinions Matter. And uh, last year we were here in Oslo. Yep. We were pretty excited about this product, the Oslo Evo uh, one, because uh, I know that when it comes to colors, nothing matches up Oslo Evo. All our subscribers know that. And all our uh, friends and family who watch every day know this. But I know that Oslo has a secret which no other company has. And we, went, we did tell you that Orville is launching a drone that will be 6K and 8K, but let's listen it from Tim. Sure. So here at CES 2020, then uh, basically we just pulled out all the stops, right? So this is Evo 2, and just for the base model alone, what you're getting standard is an 8K camera. That's gonna record up to 24, 25 frames a second, and 4K at 120. All of the cameras, no matter what model you're getting, you can also do 10-bit HDR in A-Log. So, tons of, like, a ridiculous amount of colors. So you can see some of our test footage 10-bit HDR, okay, by the way, exactly. guys, uh, right now I'm shooting with a Sony A6400. My Sony does 8-bit, and this drone can do 10-bit. On the base model. On right? the base model. Exactly, okay. so then after that, then you go into the Evo 2 Pro. And that actually has a 6K camera on it, but it's a larger sensor. So it's a one-inch sensor. We've been listening to everybody. We know that you want a yeah. one-inch sensor, yeah. right? So we did that. We did an adjustable aperture. So uh, F2.8 to F11. So yeah, F2.8 <laughs> to F11, which we were all expecting because yeah. we were kind of stuck. I was like, ah, if there was a variable aperture, it could have been much more better. But finally, so thank you. F2.8 to F11, and what else? And then finally we have the, the dual as well. So the Evo 2 dual, that's really like for your for your professional. But what's crazy is that like a lot of companies, especially with a, with a folding drill, you have a lower end thermal and a lower end visual camera. We still have the same AK camera next to the highest rated uh, clear thermal sensor that you can put on the size of a drone. So nobody else is doing that. We're not giving up anywhere. So it's just, it's one platform. If you buy one, you decide or start picking up jobs where now I need that six Couple screws, one ribbon cable, you're back up in the air just a couple minutes, and now you're doing the next job, or now you've got higher quality. So that is the reason, guys, you know, like I think we all believe in Auto because it gives you the ability to swap out your cameras while DJI and other competitors, I mean, we're not going to talk about specific companies, we're going to talk about competitors, they lock you down. Auto gives you that visibility to swap out the cameras. And a pro wants to get a 6K or an 8K, just swaps in the camera and that's pretty much it. But the drone can yeah. grow with you, yeah. depending on what you want to do. Yeah. Flight time. Flight time, so 35 to 40 minutes. Woo, 35, 35 to 40 minutes. Exactly. Okay, 30 minutes is the max I've heard. 35-ish is pushing it 40 minutes. Yeah. That's crazy. Is it a three cell or a four cell battery? It's a three cell, but 7,100 million. So it's a lot bigger. Look at that size. Let me see that size. Here we go. Look at that size. It's a max in, like uh, every time. Yeah. Yep. 71. Okay. 28 watt hours. And uh, obstacle avoidance. This time, no infrared sensors like the Evo exactly. One. Exactly. Yep. All is optical. So the whole obstacle avoidance, or really just the sensing system, has been revamped. So we're still using computer visions on the front, but we've added them to the top, left, right, the back and the bottom. So what that's gonna do, is it's gonna use the dual core processor that's inside of this, combined with AI, a few years of machine learning, and now it's not just like avoiding obstacles, but we're stopping with them. It'll actually track you through the woods. And so with the test of this, we've been going like snowshoeing, hiking, riding bikes and things like that. It'll go down, it'll go up, it'll follow you to the top. It's really like your one man cinematic, like aerial crew, Everything. hit a button and now you've got an AK camera crew with you. And the drone does what it's supposed to, right? Is that how long have we been waiting for drones to help us take yeah. good photos instead yeah. of us wrestling with them? And now yeah. it finally does that. All right, Tim, last question. Yeah. Should I ask him? I will, I'll ask him. Okay, Skydio versus Autolever. I don't like to talk badly about other companies. I think yeah. they've made awesome improvements over the past couple of years, and their obstacle avoidance is amazing. But we're getting the same kind of obstacle avoidance and tracking, and I have a better camera, and I've got a normal remote so it doesn't restrict me. So I can do whatever I want, whenever Thank I want. Thank you for bringing stuff. in that. So, okay, one of the biggest punchline of Auto is that there is no restriction. How many times we have faced this problem that you are supposed to fly in a location, you have, 
you are doing it everything legally, you have got your FAA license and everything, and you're trying to fly up the drone and the app says that you need an authorization, and we have been waiting for an hour to get an authorization from a specific company. Nothing like that with Autolevo. This is why I believe that I can literally turn on the Autolevo, and are you guys keeping the same display? So it's actually the exact same remote. So it still has the built-in 3.3 inch OLED remote. So you don't have to use your phone. Obviously it's not there to replace it, but oh no, my phone is dead. I broke a cable. I want to use my phone for something else. I can still capture content. Alrighty guys, so I think uh, CS2020 Auto Evo is the drone to look for. This is the drone for the coming two, three years. You're good because it has 6K, it has 8K. The world is sitting at 4K. We are shooting small documentaries at 6K. This drone is unbeatable. And especially the one with one inch sensor, I think so, will make it even, like a, a vast amount of difference in our videography world. So thank you, thank you for a lot for welcome. joining us. And as like always, Auto doesn't launch a lot of drones, but it launches a solid drone. That's exactly. what we love. Yeah, we right. don't like to go through the cycle all the time and make yeah. and buy new products. Yeah. Let's get you a product that's going to work for the next couple of years. And then when we're ready to release something new, then you know it's going to be good. Okay, last one. Oh, hold on a second. Price. Price. So the AK is in production right now. We're just waiting to receive them before we kick them out to the customers. $14.95. A couple hundred dollars more for the rugged with a couple extra batteries. And we're looking at $17.95 for the Pro model, which will be available most likely in the February, depending on production, really. But look, uh, look at autodrones.com like usual and we'll have the exact info there. So, you might be coming to the channel, so stay tuned, stay tuned. We are going to do a couple of tests and uh, maybe within a few months or so, we are going to present another honest opinion, another Autolevo tutorial is going to come up to the channel. So thank you, thank you guys from Autol. And that is all from CS 2020 from Autol. Probably one of the best drone companies out here that I'm totally excited about. Thank you. Definitely. Thanks, man.